Good morning, everybody. Happy chilly Friday to you. Oh, Rosie, we're getting so tired of hearing about the cold there. You don't know what cold is. It's uh, 65 below zero up here. I'm, I'm in Russia. I'm dying in Siberia. I get, <laughs> I get it. Where are the cats? Okay, the important stuff first. Not Rosie, not my well-being. Yeah, I haven't seen the cats in a couple days, mainly because we've had some heavy rain. And as a result, some people will theorize that they're at their real homes. <laughs> and uh, they just uh, they probably got a place that they like to go to when it's rainy weather. But uh, the food is, uh, you know, always make sure, I'm going to make sure that the food is always sitting out there. So when they, uh, when they show up, which they will, I have a feeling we'll see them tonight because I'm going to be breaking out the uh, tuna fish. I have a feeling that you're going to see the knuckleheads uh, tonight. So what is going on with the channel? I'm kind of constrained at the current time here uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, you know, I'd love to be outside uh, working. You know, I'm waiting to get some um, quotations on doing uh, some tree work outside. I'm waiting for that, but nobody's going to be cutting trees. I mean, as far as I can see, you get a couple days of sun and then we're going to be back in the soup again uh, here. So that's really kind of limiting my outdoor uh, activities. As you guys know on the channel yesterday, I did um, go down to the store to pick up seeds and some little uh, starter cups and stuff. I've already got potting soil here that I picked up. So we're good in that regard. I'm going to need to work the soil in the boxes there, probably do a little bit in the way of amendments, but uh, it's, it's uh, you know, remove all the old bark out of there and get the, um, get the weed barriers up and out of there. So, uh, you know, there's, there's work to be done. So I'm in process also. So I'm really kind of constrained on that right now. And I have, uh, you know, being in the, working in the workshop, uh, it's, it's not really insulated out there. And if, and if I have a heater, it's going to heat my toes up. <laughs> I'm going to feel like I'm cold everywhere else, but I have warm touches on the floor. So uh, not conducive to uh, moving forward in the shop. This is one of the reasons that I'm uh, pursuing the baking right now, because um, I've really been away, rarely doing it over the last, oh, I would say five years or so. So now I'm... Um, uh, looking to do it to sort of perfect technique and and um, uh, you know what one thing I was I'm trying again today yesterday was a miserable fail the uh, baguettes although they t tasted good it wasn't something anybody was ever ever gonna go to a bakery shop and buy it was a rosy colossal fail because the way that bread and baked goods look is very important to uh, setting people's frame of mind when they sit down to eat. And ain't nobody going to grab that. Put a good baguette in mine. Mine's going to be there till the end of time. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's going to grab it. So for those of you that think perfection always comes out of the uh, kitchen here or kitchen stadium, no, no. This is also the land of colossal failures in electronics and other things uh, too. But um, I'm trying it again today. I'm working the uh, baguettes and doing a, a fresh video declaring my failure. At the <laughs> Humbling myself before yeast, salt, flour, and water. Yes, I am. Now, um, Moving, uh, moving forward, um, I am considering, I got something, um, you know, I got some things I need to do uh, in Vegas, and I've been kind of looking at the weather down there and looking the, at the weather here, and uh, kind of going back and forth, and I'm thinking maybe next, maybe next Thursday, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's, it's kind of important to, uh, to me at the current time. Uh, so I'm, I'm considering that and, um, going down there, then I need to also get the, uh, oil changed. So today, baguettes. 
keep me in mind. Say a prayer for those baguettes, those fried, <laughs> those fried baguettes. Let my hands be skillful on the, on the bread. And uh, as you guys also know, I've cut out meat uh, for Lent. So if you have any simple, decent recipes, yeah, I'm going to be making baked mac and cheese and different. I mean, we can we have a lot of different directions. Uh, that we can go. So if you have any ideas for things, let me uh, let me know. I don't I don't fancy, you know, soup with with vegetable broth or <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Even I have my limits, right? So if you have any ideas of good recipes. Uh, put them below or let me know it. I can make it like new at gmail.com. Tonight, I'm going to be out and about. I don't know what the weather's going to be like. I'm going to try to be out in Kitchen Stadium tonight. I'm either going to, if the baguettes turn out well, I'll probably do tuna fish on a baguette or I will have um, cook up some spaghetti in Kitchen Stadium. And thank you, Catherine. And thank you to everybody. Uh, that has sent things and donations in over here. It is very, very uh, appreciated. You want to send that to the P.O. Box on behalf of the uh, cats. Uh, I've had some people contribute to some of the uh, dry cat food, and I'm very appreciative of um, that. So I am going to close out. I'll see you guys tonight. It's a music night tonight. Now I get my beer two days a week, Friday and Saturday, okay? I'm going to have my beers tonight for sure. Not sure if I need anything uh, shopping tonight. We may pop over and look around a little bit. We don't have to worry about meat. So <laughs> I go over there and look around. So anyway, we'll have a good time tonight. So please subscribe. Make sure you join us for the fun. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday, everybody. And uh, I will see you later tonight right here. Thanks, everybody. Thumbs up are glorious. <laughs>